Hi, uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Sean, uh, broadcasting from Jehovah, Malaysia. Um, today is my last day in Jehovah, Malaysia, and then uh, tomorrow I'm going to fly back to Japan. Japan. Well, uh, tomorrow, right, uh, I, uh, I go to Singapore, then uh, I take a flight to Hong Kong, and then from Hong Kong to Osaka, Japan, I take another flight. Well, uh, I took this flight ticket at the last minute, so uh, you know, the cheapest one. The company doesn't like to pay me much, so uh, I, I took the cheapest uh, flight tickets, and it will take me over... Uh, 12, 12 uh, 15, around 15 hours, I think, because I live here 12, then uh, uh, I arrive in Osaka next day in the morning, so I get uh, exhausted uh, on Sunday. Anyway, you know, I'm always strong, so, uh, you know, I'm strong in trading as well, and i see you on Monday. I'll be fine. Okay. Just pray for me that uh, I don't get too tired. Anyway, uh, now you're looking at the picture. This is a, a restaurant of Kiku where we are holding a dinner with customers. Okay. I've been talking about uh, this dinner for the past two days. Uh, we have a, a dinner with, a, with our customers uh, at this place. Then uh, um, the the main purpose for for this dinner is to learn from customers, uh, hear their feedback on our services. We make a little presentation over dinner, like showing them uh, like videos that we just created, and show them our platforms. Uh, some of them uh, haven't uh, traded for a while, so we are you know are looking looking forward to hearing those customers how they you know manage their like uh, you know expenses you know like investment because of course you know uh, every one of us work you know either full time or you know, part time and then you know we need money right to uh, to live <laughs> so um, just uh, you know for those who haven't traded uh, for a while we are just interested in finding out how they manage their like uh, you know expense daily expenses if they want to get some extra income and so on you know because uh, uh, if you trade binary options and uh, you know if you're really good at it you know if you have spent a lot of time you know learning binary options and now you're really you know uh, used to trading and you know steady uh, profit uh, you know long time then you get some uh, extra income, right? For my case, um, I, I buy some video games. <laughs> That's my uh, favorite thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, this place, uh, we're going to uh, have a dinner. Uh, we're going to talk to customers face to face. And uh, really excited to find out what they think about you know, binary options, how they view it, how they view our services. So that way, uh, we can, um, you know, consider their feedback and uh, uh, improve our services. So this is going to be a big event. And uh, okay, uh, periodically we're going to have a seminar uh, in London. Uh, if you are based in London, if you are based in Nigeria and India, maybe sometime we might fly over there <laughs> if you invite us. Anyway, uh, that's the plan, okay? All right, okay, let's move on to trading. Okay, let me refresh my Facebook. By the way, uh, uh, you know, when, while I'm in uh, Jehovah, Malaysia, uh, I got to talk to uh, some uh, Malaysian customers. <laughs> They recognize my voice, and they they, uh, they could tell me that uh, you know 
it was Sean that speaking on the on the phone with them. <laughs> what they said to me was, uh, <laughs> "You are just being very funny." Just just kept on laughing, 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 and hung up on me. <laughs> So I didn't get to talk to the customer. A uh, customer just hung up, hung up, just laughing. So ah, uh, anyway, okay. Okay. Uh, today uh, I'm going to talk about signal and uh, three zero three strategy, and uh, I'm going to talk about Martingale. And uh, I have some uh, some of my drawings today. I'll sh I'll share with them uh, later. But uh, I want to share the the question that I received from customer regarding the martingale. Okay. All right. Uh, signal. So, if you are really uh, you know fond of signal, this is the one. Because uh, you know uh, if you're a beginner and don't know uh, where the market is going and do not know when to purchase and uh, uh, when not to purchase. Uh, I uh, I can relate. You know, many of you want to have a powerful signal that tells you when to purchase an option, because uh, you know that way you do not have to think, right? You do not have to spend uh, some time on thinking. If you're like me, I don't like to think. I don't like to study. <laughs> I like to dance. I like to go to. A disco? Do you call it disco? Uh, no, the club? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, if you're like me, then you don't want to spend some time studying, so the signal is for you. But today, actually, I would like to recommend you to use signal and as well as your own strategy because uh, you need to have your own strategy as well. That way, you know uh, when to purchase and when not to purchase right and then you know how to minimize your risk uh, signal itself uh, tells you uh, okay the market is going up and down flat okay that's also good but when using signal and when you have a you know strategy and when this corresponds then you want to take an action okay that's what I'm going to teach you today Okay, so signal, uh, we have some uh, currency pairs here. Okay, where it says neutral, this one. I haven't seen this one for a while, but now it says neutral. Where it says neutral, the market moves like this. Do you know where it's going? Going flat, right? Okay, when it says neutral, don't do anything. No, okay. You don't want to make any purchase, but just let it go, let it go. Da 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 da. Okay, just let it go. Okay. So when it says strong buy, the market movement is going up. So when the market is going up, then you want to make high, right? Okay. So when the market is uh, sorry, when the signal is saying strong sell. The market goes like this. Down. So you want to make low purchase. So strong buy, high, and strong sell, sell uh, low. Okay. I, I think that's simple enough. Hope so. Okay. And then I have some time frame here from one five fifteen thirty hourly five hours daily and weekly. Today I'm going to trade on a three minute option, so I'm just going to have one minute time frame. Okay. So if you are like a you know long term trader, of course you can pick like a, you know 30 minutes hourly, five hours. But if you are just trading binary options, three minutes, then one minute is the best uh, time frame. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me refresh my Facebook. Uh, hold on, yeah. 
I'm not really good at the I'm not the PC person so hold on hold on oh thank you Jason uh, thank you for giving me like you like my uh, sunglasses today uh, do I look cool I don't know where you're from, but uh, I hope I'm looking cool in your country. <laughs> so maybe I can come over and, uh, you know, let's have fun. Anyway, thank you very much, always. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, uh, now uh, 303 strategy. D. Let me uh, open. Uh... Okay. I'll pick. Darian, 30 minutes. Okay, uh, some of you uh, who have been watching my trading show uh, may, may be just wondering why I pick uh, Darayen all the time. That's because I just like it. <laughs> That's the only reason. Uh, if you are from maybe, uh, uh, you know, Europe or you know, some other countries, you know, it's up to you. Basically, you can pick uh, Euro Dara, uh, Sterling Pound Dara, uh, you know, any, any currency pairs. I, ju I just really used to looking at the Dara Yen rates because I grew up in Japan. So when I watch the TV, uh, you know, when, when I, it's uh, on the news, right? Uh, in America or maybe in UK, B uh, BBS, CNN. I forget the name, but uh, you know you see the currency pair rates, right? So Dara Yen is has been all uh, you know that that on the news all the time. So I grew up like uh, watching it. So I'm just uh, used to it. Okay, let me add another instrument. Okay. All right. Okay, now. I'm going to look at 30 minutes graph here, the top one, to see where the market is going. And now it's clearly it's going up, right? If I draw the trend line, see that? It's going up and never crosses my trend line. So when the market price crosses the trend line, there's a tendency that the market will change the direction. But now it's not. So. I decide high. Then I I'm going to trade on a three minutes option. The reason why I want to use thirty minutes option is because I want to see the market in the wider perspective from the wider perspective, because three minutes only this part, right? Within the thirty minutes, so I I use the thirty minutes graph to see the market movement whether high or low then I trade on three minutes okay see that well it might be it might be that the changing direction <coughs> see okay let me try but uh, it's going to pass the stop line, so I need to wait for another option. Oh, not hundred dollars. I okay. Yeah, it might be. It might be going down now. Okay. Okay. Um. Anyway, and then uh, the Martingale. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, do I have time enough to? Explain Martingale. I don't know. Okay. So, if you are confident in the market trend, whether high or low, then you can uh, do the Martingale on a three minutes option. Okay. So let's say if you think that the market trend is low, you want to keep buying low within three minutes. Only when the market price goes against you. So, for example, 
the market goes like this, right? Like this. See that? Like this. Okay. So when the, the, the option starts, you want to purchase low here. Low. But the market price goes against you, so you want to purchase another low here. Then the market eventually come down like this. So the, your initial trade may lose, but the, your second trade wins, right? If the market price goes like this, okay. The, it ends up higher than your initial trade, but lower than your second trade. So your second trade wins, but your first trade loses. Okay, this is the logic. So if your second trade, the trade amount is more than your initial trade amount, then uh, you can end up in profit. Okay, for example, let me open this super Excel sheet. Super. Super, super. Okay. Today, uh, let's just assume that the payout ratio is 70%. Okay. Now, let's look at only this one. Okay. Can you see? I hope so. Let me refresh my Facebook. Okay, now, so we talked about two purchases, both low, and the first one is one dollar low, and the second one is three dollar low. So if you purchase low uh, positions like this, so what will happen? Okay, if you lose your first trade one dollar, then your loss is one dollar, right? Okay. But if your second trade is three dollars, and if you win, then what happens? So 70% of three dollars, which is two dollars ten cents. Okay. So the difference between one dollar loss and two dollars ten cents difference, uh, two dollar ten cents is one dollar ten cents. So, if you even if your first trade loses, your second trade wins, then you can cover your previous loss and also you can end up some profits. Okay, uh, this Excel spreadsheet uh, we are send, uh, we are giving out for free. So if you are interested, uh, you can just uh, email to us and let us know. Uh, you can, I think, even uh, let us know on uh, Facebook, then uh, we can send it to you. So if you're a beginner, this we maybe you can try this amount depending on the payout ratio. Then if you are more beginners, uh, sorry, more experienced, maybe you can try this amount. And maybe super experienced, then uh, you can try these amounts. Of course, if you increase your trade amount, your uh, end up profits are higher. Okay, that uh, that makes sense, right? Hope. Okay. So, let me try this. <coughs> now it seems that uh, see trend line here, and then the market. See that the market price has passed my uh, uh, trend line. So now it's going down. See that? So let me refresh. Okay. But now, if I uh, draw the trend line here, this one seems to be uh, like a crossing the trend line. So, so we'll see. So Darian says neutral. So I don't know where I'm going. So I'll wait a little bit. 
I need to wait one minute. Okay. Let's wait one minute together. In the meantime, then I can refresh my Facebook. Well, because uh, I, uh, I'm in Johoba, Malaysia, and I don't speak Malaysian language, so I asked my colleagues how to say hi, and he said to me, okay, you say hi. <laughs> so in Malaysia, so hi is hi. So that's, I guess that's the, in Japanese, that's konnichiwa. Uh, but Malaysia, that's a uh, hi and hi. Okay, now let me try low. Okay, I purchased low dollar yen. Okay, the reason is that uh, now I'm looking at this. This one didn't go higher than this point. So, but now it's going even higher. So now is the time to do the martingale. Sati. Okay, low. I made the purchase. Sati, low. And then <laughs> it's even going higher, higher. Maybe I'm just making mistake, maybe. But anyway, now I do 90. Yeah, trend is up. So... Okay, if the uh, market price comes back higher, before stop line, then I purchase low again, ninety dollars. <laughs> so now you see my second trade is winning, right? But my first trade is losing. Okay. So what happens this one? Then if I if my second win, uh, second trade wins, then then I end up in profits. So hopefully the uh, market will end up like this so I can share with you the one example of Martinga. <laughs> ah, please please give me a good Martinga example low low Okay, Darian is still showing sell, so maybe so. And then I have 23 seconds left. 20, 19, 18, okay now, oh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 12, 2, one finally made one good example of martingale okay so what happened see that the first trade dollar yen low i purchased 10 but i lost 10 dollar right here but the second one i purchased 30 okay and i made, I made 21 dollar so what happened? So the difference is eleven dollars. So I end up in profits. Martingale. That's the uh, that's the logic of Martingale. So I'm I'm kind of relieved that the finally I made a Martingale uh, example. <laughs> so I hope you like it. Let me refresh. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Question and answer. Okay. 
the first question okay I want to well I, first question th this question I often hear from customers actually uh, not even customers even from uh, you know people that are considering trading binary options so okay I want to trade binaries but I do not want to lose of course I don't want to lose yes of course everybody doesn't want to lose but want to make money of course okay uh, that's very good question okay and then my suggestion here I, I guess the company is that if you're thinking of using your money that you use for your maybe daily you know necess necessary uh, expenses for ex for example uh, buying food uh, paying rent um, gas you know utilities uh, for maybe uh, for uh, for your commuting to work I walk to work so I don't have to pay but if you are uh, thinking of spending those money on binaries then you better not to trade right the reason is very simple because you cannot focus you are too eager to make profits and you go like this ah, ah. <laughs> and if you are like this then uh, you cannot make good profits okay so uh, the, 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 the emotions like emotional control is very very important so uh, as long as well I and mean, then with us uh, with us right you can trade from 20 dollar so if you have spare money like even 20 dollars or 20 dollars may seem to be very expensive for some of you yes but uh, if you have spare money uh, 20 dollars then uh, uh, you can have like a spacious mind your mind is kind of space have some rooms left so you can stay relatively uh, more calm then focus on your strategy and trading okay and uh, but uh, if you are uh, losing your you know the money that uh, you need to pay for rent then you go like this ah uh, so if you lose once then you stop trading and that's not good for you you know you you waste your money and then also uh, you know you don't get any experience but uh, you just quit and you know cry <laughs> you don't want to be like that so so use your spare money on investment okay so that's uh and then if you have a lucky day like me today I made the martingale uh, good today so if you have a lucky day that uh, you know you continue to get some profits then just go for it okay just continue to trade and also you want to set your target loss uh, that's also important uh, for example you say like okay today's loss target is 100 so if you reach the 100 loss then you stop trading right and then it, it, it might be good that, that you set the target profits as well uh, for instance like a 100 or 500 so if you reach that level you don't want to lose that uh, you know profits so just stop so if you read if you reach uh, your target then just stay and go on to the next day All right okay then uh, next question okay next question is also good question this question is uh, uh, about the martingale okay this customer is asking like my example so if uh, let's say you make two trades the first one and second one okay well he's asking if uh, if I purchase low for instance the first trade and then if the market goes against and then the market goes higher and higher should I buy high instead of low so again the market goes like this and then if I purchase low the first one the market goes against me can I buy high and he's asking what do you think okay 
That's a good question, and let me explain. So let me share my perfect drawing. My perfect drawing, this one. Okay, can you see this? Okay, this one is 30 minutes graph, and this is the market prices. Okay, you know, you see obviously that the market is trend is low, right? So this is important. Market trend is low. Okay. Uh, remember that. Okay. Looking at the 30 minutes graph, you see market trend is low. Low. Okay. That's very important to keep in mind. Then look at three minutes graph together. Okay. So 30 minutes graph tells me the market movement is low, market trend is low. But if you look at the three minutes, the market always goes zigzag, right? But within three minutes, let's say the market price starts from here, and then it might go up, you know, it might go up, right? But then eventually, market trend is low. So our expectation is that market will eventually come down okay so what happens then if i purchase low here because market trend is low so i purchase low here but market goes against me right but i know that the market trend is low so i want to purchase low here right because the market will eventually come down that's my expectation but this customer is asking if I can buy high here okay so if you do this let's see what happens so if you purchase low the first one and then if you purchase high the second one if the market goes like this right okay what happens this one you purchase high here, but this one is lower than this one. So you lose the second trade. And also, you purchase low here, but this one is higher than this one. So there is a possibility that you lose both trades. And also, if you purchase low here, and if you purchase high here, and you might end up go like this right but you want to if you want to do this uh, you want to uh, you know double up or you want to purchase higher amount here so that, that you can end up uh, some profits in the end right the thing is the thing is let's go back to 30 minutes graph you want to do the martingale only when you are confident in the market trend okay this one trend is low okay based on this I purchase low here I purchase low here let's say low here so this one lose but this one wins then I end up in profits uh, this is uh, how the martingale should work Okay, this is the powerful strategy. So I hope you got it. Uh, thank you very much, Carlos. Thank you for uh, giving us like. Uh, did you get uh, my uh, presentation of Martingale? I hope so. Please uh, let us know if you don't understand. So I can uh, get better at it next time. Okay. All right. Uh, wow, time is up already. Over half an hour. Okay, uh, let me talk about promotion. This is our website. <clears throat> ah! Okay, this is our website. Uh, www.herosayuk.com. Okay, if you come to our website and click here, $10 welcome bonus. Okay, if you do not have a binary options account with us yet, um, uh, come to our website and uh, open a binary option account with us then uh, uh, once your account has been activated then we'll give you 
$10 welcome bonus. So with the $10 welcome bonus, you can try this signal, Martingale, and uh, 303 strategy. Okay? And $10 is all yours. So you can use the $10 for familiarizing yourself with strategies and also our live binary options platform. All right. So I hope, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed uh, my training show. And I, I will see you Monday from Japan. All right. Thank you very much. Bye bye.